Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to explain about uh, how to use Eclipse Eclipse to practice core Java concepts. To practice core Java concepts, how to use Eclipse. See, is whenever you install the Eclipse, it will show a shortcut on the screen on the desktop whenever you double click on that then automatically eclipse will start by default it will show one workspace at the location in c drive so we can continue with that location just launch it launch so when you launch then automatically it will start the eclipse ide will start in that eclipse ide is whenever you want to practice all core java concepts all core concepts if you want to practice then how to how to practice all these things so here we need to create that we can create the new project from here or from the file here it is we need to select for the java project in case if it is not available right here choose the option other and here you can type java project so this is what where to where to develop our core related projects just java project next project name we need to give right here it is i'm just giving that core java or core practice any any one folder name you can give it will show that jre and everything by default just finish it next here it is finish then it will here it is a core java folder will appear here core java folder appear here in this one in this core java right it will show that source folder as well as the library folder with all jar files that library by which it will execute and then source and then source this is how it is executing now now here in the source folder now we are creating the subfolders or packages we are creating the packages because you will understand the concept of package also package means it contains all related classes suppose if you are practicing loops then we are creating the package name is a loops if you are creating the basic programs for example here it is package i'm creating the package name I'm giving basic, finish it. Then the package will be created in the package. Here it is right click on the package, new, take the class, take the class. Suppose add, addition of two numbers program, I want to write add, just finish it. Then it will show that class like this and you can continue with the remaining coding. It will show that package in which package your class is present that is so here we are writing the remaining code public static void main string arts string arts simply i'm writing that in a equals to 10 b equals to 20 we are just adding c equals to a plus b and then printing that value this sum equals to that value we are adding c how to run the code means what just save it control s save it same here it is here only just right click on the <clears throat> on the window run as java application if it is not showing this java application means what you have not mentioned that main method correctly if you mention main method correctly then only it will show that just right click java application when you click I mean, it will run and it will show the output here. That is. Okay. Suppose if this package explorer is not visible to you. Right. Then everything. So what you miss, for example, console is missing. Here it is a search button option is there. Search. Here you can search for everything. On the top right corner. Right. Suppose if project explorer is not available. Then remember these things, Project Explorer or Package Explorer. 
when you click on this then automatically this left side window will appear sir suppose console is missing then here it is a console then when you click on this automatically it will show the console okay this is the way next here one more class i want to create after this i want to create one more new new and here it is a class i am taking as anything for example here i am writing that code is a uh, addition of two numbers already we did just display the last digit of given number see if you want to make it public static void main auto generated just check this finish it then main also will be generated you can write everything inside the main i'm just taking one number is 365 at last digit i'm printing getting how to find the last digit we know already n mod 10 and then printing that system dot out dot print ln that last digit is last digit is the dvr print that is same right click and run the application you can see that last digit of 365 365 is a 5 okay last digit of 365 is a 5 like this sir here it is i want to practice after basics i want to practice some loops then again right click on source new create package just give the name is a loops finish it then right click on that loops package and create the class create the class just here it is print 1 to 10 just i am giving one class name print 1 to 10 then it will generate just repeat the loop for for int i equals to 1 i less than or equals to 10 i plus plus then printing here system dot out dot print ln that i value is i printing so this is just how printing 1 to 10 numbers printing 1 to 10 numbers here run then output you can see here 1 to 10 values printing sir i want to work with multiple classes for example oops concepts again right click on source here it is i am taking that package the name i am giving oops object oriented programming now here i, I just want to take two classes the two packages generated wait package on the source right click on source package oops package yes oops package created on that again create two classes i am creating one is a first class one is a first class this is and create one more class is a second class is a second class it's just connectivity i want to introduce so suppose in the first class i just want to define a private variable private simply i'm writing static int x is equals to 10 one private variable no main method i told you whenever main method is not there run as see it is not showing that configurations because if main method is not there it cannot run the application that's why it will not show in the second class i have written or for example in the first class in the first class i am writing i am writing one one private variable from the second class i want to access so in the second class i am writing the main method public static void main string args string args so here whenever i am trying to access the value directly print ln so how to access the value directly how to access the value means simple in the first class first class dot x because it is a static variable so blindly if you go with the first class dot x and when you run this application see here only it is showing that first dot x is not visible field by the reason if you want to check if you want to check see resolved compilation errors the first class x is not available in the first class 
x is not available so what is the reason very simple it's a private variable it's a private variable then how to access means i'm just writing one public method public public static integer return type we know all these things get x and it will return that x value first dot x it will return now in the second class instead of calling that x we need to call get x method now it is not showing any errors just right click run the application you can see the value 10 so this is how we are communicating Com establish the communication between two classes between two classes so here there's so one thing is very very important sir for example if i want to create two packages i want to access one class i mean one package class from another package class another package class right so these are important let me explain when we are creating the two pack when we are creating two packages suppose consider p1 package and p2 package i am create just wait sir here it is i am creating in the source file in the source file i am creating the package is p1 p1 okay or directly whenever you are writing the class also you can create source class here also you can specify the package folder p1 package in p1 package abc class i define abc in this one i am creating two methods public static void m1 one static method clearly i am giving the information print ln this is p1 package abc class m1 method just a message proper message i am giving one instance method also i am creating public void m2 system dot out dot print ln p1 package abc class m2 method i am taking m2 method now i am taking another class just new class and this is suppose package p2 here i am writing that xyz class inside i am creating the main method also look at this inside the first first class abc class right i didn't mention the main method so you cannot run this one right here i mentioned the main method so you can run this one but i want to access i want to access abc class m1 method and m2 method all are public only public 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 so i am trying to access first class m1 method first class m1 method and next one is a next one is creating object of first class obj equals to new first class obj dot m2 v access so then why the showing errors because public 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 only reason is what when two packages are there it's a p1 package and it's a p2 package when two packages are present right then when we try to access one package class into another package we must write import statement just like scanner class import which package p1 package which class abc class sorry it's not the first it's my mistake abc of course uh, let me remove this now still it will show that abc error it will show until we import now see import p1 package abc whenever we import then all the errors resolved now you will get the output this is the way when there are two packages when there are two packages if you want to access one package class into another package 
we must use import statement we must use import statement so this is the way so this is how we are creating the packages and work with all core java concepts hope you understood continue with your practice thank you all